So what settings do you need to use for your Sony a6400 to get the most out of your live stream? I'm going to share with you the settings that I use and how to max out this camera if you're going live or if you're recording a 4K video. Hey, what's going on everybody? Monty Weaver here helping you navigate this world of digital tech and social media. Today we're going to be looking at my favorite camera because I have not one but two Sony a6400s and I use them all the time when I live stream and record videos right here on YouTube. So I'm going to walk you through the settings if you are going to live stream specifically, but if you're interested in learning more about the features of this particular camera, I'm also going to link below this video in the description of a previous video where I walked through why I really went with this camera over some of the other versions. Now before I get right into the settings, I know a lot of you love that blurred out background effect or when you put something into the front of the screen and it auto focuses super fast. Well, that is because of the lens that I'm using, not because of any settings. So the two lenses that I use are the Sigma 16 millimeter lens and the Sigma 30 millimeter lens, which is on this camera right now. The 16 millimeter is on the camera that you're looking at me and it's my main shot every single time. So if you want that cool bokeh effect, that blurred background effect, make sure that you check out the lenses to go along with your Sony camera. Now let's talk about some of the settings for this 4K camera. I love the fact that you can record at 4K. However, when we live stream, we're really not gonna use all of that resolution because a lot of the platforms don't allow us to do so. So for example, if you're live streaming to Amazon, you can only stream at 720 resolution. That is not a problem because our 720 resolution coming from here is gonna look way better coming from a built-in camera or a webcam. These cameras allow you to get some really good resolution no matter where you're streaming. And even if you're limited by the platform, your picture will still look amazing. Now let's check out the menu and the settings that I changed on my Sony a6400. If we start on the first screen, I don't make any changes. I leave mostly everything default. Now I will go to page five and ensure that focus mode is set to auto focus continuous. And then on the second camera option, I'll make sure that exposure mode is set to manual. And I like to record videos in 4K and make sure we're at 30p and 60m. If I scroll over to page number two, autofocus drive speed is set to fast and autofocus tracking sensitive is set to responsive. I also like to verify that my audio is on and my recording levels are on. By scrolling over to the settings tab in page two, I make sure that the auto power off is set to high temperature so that this does not turn off my camera. I also go into page number four and check my HDMI settings and make sure that I'm set to 1080p for my HDMI. Because I use a ATEM switcher device, the max resolution is 1080p. So I do change this from 4K to 1080p. Scroll down to USB power supply and I ensure that this is on. And these are the settings that I use for my A6400. So because I'm not using the kit lens or the lens that came with this camera, I'm using the Sigma lenses. It allows me to do even more with the settings and the look that I'm trying to achieve. Along with proper studio lighting, you can have a lot of different effects with this camera. By changing the ISO down to 100 to 250 and changing the frame rates, and I use 125. By being able to have an external lens, it gives you that bokeh effect as well. So the reality is I don't do a lot of setting changes on this camera. All it is is the lens that's allowing me to achieve this pretty cool look. Even for this video on YouTube, I'm only recording in 1080p, but because of the lens and the high-end studio lighting, I'm able to achieve a pretty cool look that I'm comfortable with when it comes to live streaming. Now hopefully that helps give you a good jump start in getting started with your Sony camera. But if I missed any questions, make sure you put those in the comments below this video because I believe the Sony a6400 is just one of the best live streaming cameras on the market and it makes a pretty good YouTube camera as well. Hope you got some value from this video and I'll see you in the next one.